God bless you. You welcome to my channel. I trust that the Lord is going to reach out to you like never before today. You see, I had the leading to speak to someone, and I know this is just going to bless you. I heard the Lord said to me early, early hours of this morning that you should give your best. Like I'm going to be speaking to you about giving your best to the Lord. A story came to my mind in Genesis chapter 4, uh, talking about Cain and Abel. The Lord made Cain and Abel proceed as a first uh, set of children that the Lord gave Adam and Eve and then one was actually into animal production another one into cropping and at the time the Lord demanded an offering now let me say this here God will never need an offering for anything God only demand our obedience and our cooperation our participation in whatever he wants to do through us and whatever he want to do in our life so a medium of trying to so you bring an offering to me is just to check if you are really in active partnership with him over the issues of your life so that I could bring about an effect and a greatness over you. And at the point they brought this offering to him, one brought the one that was bad, another one brought the one that was good, and Cain became hungered because the offering of Abel was accepted before God. But watch this. I'd like you to notice this. Genesis chapter 4, read down the line. Abel gave his best. That he, he gave his best to the Lord. Cain gave the rotten fruit. Cain gave the worst, so to say, the bad produce that he actually got from his farm. And then the Lord pronounced a blessing upon Abel, which actually got Cain to be hungry. And then out of jealousy, he killed the brother. And after he killed the brother, and the brother died, a curse was proclaimed upon him. A mark was set upon him as a vagabond and a fugitive. Now look at this. There are persons in the kingdom today who give their best to the Lord. And God began to bless them. People begin to question, how come it's not me? It can't be you because you don't give your best. I love this illustration that has ever come to me ever since. And this has actually been a motivation drive about everything I do. Hall for hall. Some for some. None for none. Meaning if you give your all and your best to God, God is committed to give his best and his all to you. If you give some, God is committed to give you some. If you give none, you might actually be under the mercy drop. You might enjoy the mercy drop because of his faithfulness, but you'll be sure that God will not do tangible and reasonable things with you because you are not in alignment, you are not cooperating, you are not in active partnership for him to bring about the issues of your life. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 says, Seeking first the kingdom of God. Seeking first his kingdom, saying, Giving our best, our time, the best. Our resources, the best. Our talent, the best. When we give the best of everything to God, it means we have actually made God first in all of our situations. We make God first in our circumstances. We make God first in our life. We make God first in our resources. Giving our best simply means we're seeking the kingdom of God first by giving our best to God. I trust that the Lord bless you with this. I, pr I pray that, yes, I hear the Lord ask me to pray that if someone is going to be watching this, you've been struggling with a question like this. You've been struggling with a question like this. I believe the Lord sent me to you and I pray that this ministers to your heart. You're going to make it right from now. Please do not forget to give your best to God. Your best. God bless you.